President Joe Biden addresses the nation from the NATO summit. This press conference could define his future. Last month, Biden's debate performance raised eyebrows across the country. His age, once a subtle undercurrent in political discourse, has now become a focal point of concern for many Democrats. Biden, 81, struggled through the debate, flubbing lines and losing his train of thought. His campaign blamed a cold, but the damage was done. The question now looms, can Biden convincingly lead the Democratic Party against a formidable opponent like Donald Trump? The NATO summit presents a unique opportunity for Biden to showcase his leadership on the world stage. With global leaders watching, Biden must prove his fitness for office and his capability to navigate complex international issues. Biden has announced significant support for Ukraine, emphasizing the necessity of stopping Russian aggression. His stance is clear, Ukraine must stand strong against Putin's advances. As we approach the scheduled press conference, the anticipation builds. Biden's ability to communicate effectively without a teleprompter will be under intense scrutiny. Reporters and citizens alike are eager to see an unscripted Biden address their concerns. Will Biden be able to dispel doubts about his cognitive abilities? Can he reassure his party and the nation of his capability to lead for another term? Polls show a tight race between Biden and Trump, with Trump holding a slight edge in key battleground states. Biden's approval rating is a contentious topic, with some polls indicating a significant decline. In an interview with George Stephanopoulos, Biden dismissed these numbers, asserting confidence in his leadership and the direction of his campaign. Today's press conference is more than just a speech. It's a critical moment for Joe Biden to reaffirm his leadership and set the stage for his 2024 campaign. Stay tuned as we bring you live coverage and expert analysis.